Hi, I'm Don Curry, Chief Instructor of the NSCA, here with a segment on the ready position. The ready position is absolutely critical to consistency in sporting clays. Why? Because it's our starting position. It's the place that we start. And just in life, if we get a good start, we tend to end up in the right place. Same thing with sporting clays. If we have a good starting position, we're more likely to break that target than if we have a very haphazard and random ready position. There's actually six elements of the ready position, and we're going to go over each one of those in depth over the next six segments. The first one is stance, where your feet are positioned vis-a-vis -vis the break point. Second is balance, where your body is positioned over your feet. Next is hole point. Where on the horizontal plane of the, the flight path of the targets is your uh, muzzle position. Um, next is draw length, the distance that the comb is away from the cheek as you're in your ready position. A little bit shorter for closer in, uh, for uh, trap targets, a little bit further away perhaps for slow incoming targets. Um, then we have the um, barrel orientation. So you never want to start with your barrel too high because if you start with your barrel too high, you'll get a little barrel wobble. Uh, in the uh, in your stroke so and you don't want to start with it too low because then you'll have too much gun movement coming up into the target and finally it's visual pickup point visual pickup point is where your eyes are turned uh, to first see the target uh, where when it's not a blur so we want to make sure we've pre-planned that in our uh, pre-shot planning to make sure that we've got our eyes in the right place to pick up the target and start our move at the precise moment we see the target so please tune in for the next six uh, uh, segments uh, for of the ready position because it's really critical for your consistency in sporting clays. This is Don Curry, Chief Instructor of the NSCA. Thank you.